Hello everyone and welcome back to Starmate and welcome to a little Starmate season 2 preview episode. Uh, as you may have noticed in the last couple of weeks I took a little break from Starmate and during this time I was thinking about what could I do next or what should I build next. I had ideas for a carrier for example or a, a space station with a uh, space elevator down to the surface of a planet or to build a city on the surface of a planet and all these things but finally I thought maybe it's a good idea to do something that will only work because of the next update that will be out soon and yeah as you may have heard about in the next update we will have uh, new high resolution textures and shadows as you can see here or as you have seen probably in my Starmate Solar Sailor ship showcase episode and yeah it's it's still a early state I'm uh, playing currently the dev build or actually the pre-build for the next update it's so all these new things are still in an early state but they are already already look so awesome and yeah but there are also other interesting features uh, features sorry <laughs> and one of these things is that with the next update you will be able to orientate the gra gravitation units so you are able to orientate or to have a specific orientation of your gravity in a ship or on a station and you can have um, different gravitation orientations on, on a ship. So you can switch between different orientations and this is pretty cool because this would allow us to build a ring world. And this is what I want to do. This is a, a very early first test. I quickly built this in SketchUp and exported the 3D model and imported this to SM Edit and <laughs> exported this um, into uh, to, into StarMate. And so yeah, it's it's not perfect this shape. We could probably have a. Uh, Sorry, a look from a larger distance. So let's jump into a car. And yeah, it's, it's absolutely not perfect, the shape. But yeah, it's a first try. I just wanted to test things and see if these things will work. And as you can see, the shadows uh, still need some work. So uh, sometimes they disappear or they don't work very well from a, a larger distance at the moment but yeah remember this is the um, dev build or pre-build so it's it's <laughs> technically the alpha of the alpha of the game so yeah but this is the the circular shape or a ring world possible ring world and yeah how this gravitation orientation thing will work uh, let me demonstrate this here at the center of this ring. Whoop! All right, let's leave the core. Where is it? Okay, let's remove it. And here I have uh, gravi gravity units or gravity blocks, and each block here is orientated towards the the ground or the surface here so we have four different orientations and when I activate this by pressing R I can walk on the surface with the same orientation like the gravity block over here and if I deactivate this I could go to another one for example over here and activate this one and then I can walk around here as well. So yeah, this is the, uh, the technique behind this. And yeah, 
how to orientate the gravity blocks. It's pretty pretty simple. If you um, enter the ship core or the build block, uh, doesn't matter. And if you switch to the build mode, you can. Uh, I have no uh, gravity block in my inventory, so let's remove this one. Now I have one. And if you hold down control, you can simply orientate this block like like you do with wedges. And keep an eye on the arrow here, because it's a bit difficult at the moment, because if this arrow is orientated towards uh, the surface you want to walk on then this is the right orientation for your block so it's the surface with the red lights so if we leave the core again okay we have to deactivate the gravitation again and step or activating this gravity unit now we can walk around here so that's the technique behind this and but yeah to be honest there seems to be a bug at the moment like i said it's, it's the alpha alpha version <laughs> so uh, let me demonstrate this because i uh i i searched the forums if someone else uh, already noticed this but i couldn't find a, a post or a thread about this so i'm not sure if uh, this is um, already a known bug, but I cannot imagine that someone else haven't noticed this because it's so obvious. The problem is, uh, as larger the distance of the gravitation unit and the core is, as more far away you will respawn. Uh, I think it seems to work like this every time you activate a gravity block you will respawn with the right orientation towards this block or align to this block and if you put this very far away from the core things will happen like this as you can see there is the gravity unit we activated and there's the core for some reason uh you will be yeah somehow it will offset you away from the core and the interesting is uh with the same distance like the distance between the gravity unit and the core so as you have seen i activated this gravity unit 50 blocks away from the core and i respawned 50 blocks away from the gravity unit and I think I was aligned to the core over here and then I was falling down towards these lights and they are 50 blocks away from the gravity unit. So there seems to be something wrong. If I would activate this I would uh, land somewhere over there. So this is... Uh, no sorry, these this is uh, 30 blocks away and this is 50 blocks away or something like that. So I, I cannot exactly remember, but yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty sure it should not work like this. <laughs> but like I said, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't read something about this in the forum. So uh, maybe I will or I will better do a post about this. And that's the reason why I'm talking about this in this episode then I can show other people or, or the developers what's what's wrong with the gravity <laughs> all right and yeah another cool thing I'd like to show you is if I enter the core at the moment uh, I attached a ship core to this whole structure to this ring and of course I could only put or attach a build block so then this would be a station which which would fit best to the ring world thing but on the other hand with the ship core we could do cool things if we zoom out um, 
at the moment we have the problem that one side of the ring is always in the shadow and the other side is always in the sunlight. So, and if we would build a station, so a, a stationary structure, that that would be the case forever. And the cool thing with the ship core is we could rotate that whole thing. So let's press tab G. Maybe we can zoom out a bit more. Then the shadows don't work correctly, but it's it looks really cool to see that ring rotating and yes yeah, so uh, but the disadvantage would be that um, I cannot set this ring as faction home base so this whole structure will be not invulnerable and this is probably a problem but uh, if we could rotate this we could or I could use this to create some kind of <laughs> artificial day-night cycle that would be cool and yeah I think basically this is enough for the preview I don't know or I actually don't really have idea how this will look in the end I, or I have a couple of ideas that's a bit more the problem uh, it could be some kind of giant station as well or uh, maybe I will put a, a sphere created with beacons in the center of this ring as some kind of artificial sun that would be also cool yeah we will see and yeah but before this I have to prepare this ring uh, yeah, as you can see uh, it's not really a very good circular shape there uh, the SketchUp model needs a lot more or a lot of more segments so to smooth things and yeah this is something I, I have to prepare and then I could start building the ring world but yeah of course the the other thing is uh, I have to wait for the next update and so I, I don't know when this when this will be released so uh, this maybe will take some time all right anything else I wanna wanna say <laughs> I'm not sure um, yeah probably I've forgotten something uh, but yeah however this is a little preview ah yes now I remember <laughs> and if it would be possible I still thinking about how this could work I want to build this on a multiplayer server uh, not just a multiplayer server the multiplayer server my favorite one mushroom fleet server probably but yeah I, I'm not sure if this will work maybe I will start in single player and export or import this later on the server or with as, as blueprint uh, that would work if I keep the ship core thing but yeah I'm, I'm not sure about this so yeah on a multiplayer server this would have some nice benefits of course because then other people could visit the construction side of the ring world and see the current state and probably they can uh, populate the ring world, build, put their own buildings on the surface and all these cool things. So, yeah, but, but hopefully the bug will be fixed. Uh, this gravity unit offset thing, because otherwise then it would be really difficult. I'm not sure how it will be possible to uh, switch the different gravity orientations maybe I will put a some kind of um, room in the center here so probably uh, exactly in this in this or in this um, artificial Sun 
thing I have in mind. So, and there I could put all the gravity blocks pretty close to the core, and then this will be no problem. But uh, I don't know how people could get back to the ring surface later. But yeah, let's see. I think there are, there are solutions for these problems. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward for this update and to start building a cool ring world station thing, whatever. And yeah, but I think now it's enough. I have talked enough for this episode. And yeah, hopefully you are looking forward to this update as I do as well. And yeah, finally, with with the last few around the ring. Thank you very much much for watching. And goodbye.